Hi, my name is Tom Duke and I'm an Earthship instructor here in Taos, New Mexico and this is an Earthship. It's a self-sustaining home made out of recycled materials. It collects its own uh, water from the sky, it uh, recycles and reuses water, we treat our, and reuse our sewage, we make our own energy, and they're really comfortable homes to live in. Okay, the main uh, feature of an Earthship is you'll notice big, large, uh, double-paned windows that go across the whole south face of the house. Um, this is to bring in passive solar heat. Um, they also have solar panels you can see up there on the top. And we also have passive solar wa hot water heaters. And you can see those, those are the large black panels up there. And those um, heat up about 80 gallons of hot water a day uh, from the sun. Uh, in the front, you can also see we have a bunch of operable windows that can be opened because sometimes when all your windows are facing south and they're double paned and they're big, you're gonna get a lot of heat in your house. So we build in natural ventilation systems and those windows are part of it that open up and when it gets too hot in there and, and we use natural convection. We actually have cooling tubes that suck air through the house and out through those windows. Up top there, you'll see our operable skylights. That's another part of our passive ventilation systems. So we have lots of windows that open up that can bring in fresh air and cool air. Okay, on the front of the house there, you see you have um, kind of some uh, wooden bars there that are holding rocks, and actually that's a counterweight to open the skylights. On this house and uh, many airships, we use the photovoltaic energy panels, but you can also use wind turbines to create energy. After the, ener the energy is collected by the panels, it goes into some deep cell batteries that we store up on top of the house. Most of the electricity in an Earthship is wired for direct current, which is what you get directly from the batteries. Um, we do have an inverter in this part of the power system, and when you turn that on, it can converts the DC power to AC power, and then we can use any kind of appliance in the house, like televisions or washing machines and that kind of thing. When we go to bed at night, most people turn off their inverter because it does drain power. And so then your DC power is going through the night and it still works the lights, still works the refrigerator, which are all wired for DC. The main building component of an Earthship is uh, recycled steel belted tires that are rammed with earth. And those are what build the, the base of the walls and almost all the back part of an airship. And they're super heavy and they're super strong and they absorb solar heat very well and release it back into the house at night. It's a, kind of a system we use which combines thermal mass with uh, passive solar gain. We also use uh, bottles and cans. Um, this one's starting to kind of fall apart because of the weather, but we, um, we use the bottles for displacement in cement and adobe walls so we don't have to use as, many uh, as much sand or cement. Uh, bottles and can walls are very low tech and easy to build. Here is a perfect example of how we collect water. It snowed this morning. All this thick snow has been on the roof all morning and it's been heating up throughout the day. And now the water is melting right into our buried cisterns here. It goes into our gutters, comes through this scupper into our what we call the salad bowl feature. It kind of cleans up the water before it goes into the tank. A lot of the dirt and sediment settles in this bowl and in this scupper. This big mound of dirt isn't just here for no reason. This is a very important part of an earthship. It's called the berm. And after we build up the tire walls, we back bury with all this earth. It's just tons and tons of earth. And that's what gives us the thermal mass inside an earthship. So being sunk into the ground, buried with earth, we're tapping into that earth temperature of about 55, 58 degrees. So a big component of an earthship is you got to have this big mound of dirt on the north side of your house. And that combined with the passive solar gives us livable living temperature. Okay, now we're inside of an earthship and every earthship has a gray water planter and that's what these plants are. After you take a shower or you wash your hands, that water drops into this gray water planter treatment planter. And these plants, their roots 
go down deep and treat the water and use the water to grow. Whatever's not used drops into a well and we then use that treated gray water in our toilets. So we don't use fresh water in the toilets. We use water that's already been used two times. The toilet's a third time. Um, another good part about the plants is they bring oxygen and they create this warm atrium that's in the front of an earthship. And this is our main heating component. It gets warm in here. And when it's too warm and we need some heat in the back room, just simply open the door and all the heat from the atrium is going to come inside this room and heat it to a livable temperature. A really important part about an airship is the passive ventilation system. So we create all this heat inside these atriums and we're sunk into the ground, tapping into the earth's temperature. It's all about heat, but we need to cool off sometimes. So the whole house is equipped with ventilation systems. This brings heat into the living space. These are skylights that we can open up here and that also will suck actually the, the air right through this and on up through the house um, using natural convection. So um, without the ventilation system, this house would really cook, but you come inside, if it's warm, you open a couple of ventilation windows and boom, you're at a really cool livable temperature.